identifying solutions to a two-step linear inequality in one variable. For each value of u, determine whether it is a solution to negative 3u minus 1 is less than or equal to negative 25. So let's start over here with negative 4. We're going to put that in for u right here. So in place of u, I'm writing negative 4. Then I'm going to do this multiplication. I get positive 12, negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Subtract 1 is less than or equal to negative 25. Now I'm going to combine these numbers. They are like terms because they're both whole numbers. 11 is less than or equal to negative 25. Is this true? I've simplified it as much as I can. So now is 11 less than or equal to negative 25? On a number line, we have 0 over here, and we're going to count by 5's. Eleven is over here. I'm going down now by 5's. Sorry, that crowded in too much. But here's negative 25. Is 11 less than 25? No. 11 is greater than negative 25. It goes this way. So this is a no solution. Now we're going to try 8. Oh, our 8 is positive. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put 8 in where the u is. Now I'm going to do the multiplication. Three, negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Now we get the answer combining these two whole numbers. Negative 25 is less than or equal to negative 25. Is that true? Yes, 25, negative 25 is equal to negative 25. So that is a yes answer. Now I'm going to try number 9. I'm going to write negative 3, and then I put 9 in for the u spot. And I'm going to do this multiplication. Negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. I get negative 28. It's less than or equal to negative 25. Now we're going to make our number line longer. Here we had negative 25. And here we have negative 30. So negative 28 is right in here. And 0 is way over here. So is negative 28 less than negative 25? It goes this way, right? We're following this arrow. Is that less than negative 25? Yes, it is. You do go that direction to get to negative 28 from 25. So this is also a yes answer did number 9. Now we're going to do negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2. Remember I'm just substituting that number in for the u spot. Minus 1 is less than or equal to negative 25. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. 6 minus 1 gives me a positive 5. Let's look at our number line again. We have negative 25. So here's 5 over here. And here's negative 25 over here. Do we go this way to get to 5? No. Our sign was pointing this way, less than. So this is a no answer.